to touch up rainbow your lights. Hands. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing since the blinds? Just laying low and writing songs. What instrument do you usually write on? I really switch it up. I try to start with piano and then I'll like go to guitar or bass. I only play piano, so I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> I paired you guys together. I felt like you could both sing kind of similar songs, and I settled on Bruno Mars for you. <laughs> Are you into this? Are you feeling it? Feeling we're it? We're feeling it, yeah. It's At first, right. we were like, okay, this is an interesting choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now? I feel like it's soulful, it's kind of bluesy, yeah. and, and it's still like a big pop song still at the same time. Right. It's perfect for both your voices, and I think it'll work. Ooh, too young, too dumb to read. tenor range, which I'm always jealous of because I don't have it. Gene is a little more polished and then Ronnie is a bit more stylized. I think When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars is perfect for these two artists. Gorgeous. Really well done, guys. Ronnie, I like how much style you put on it. You made it feel like you really connected to it and made it your own. I love that. Thank you. For this song, I am definitely channeling all of my feelings from my first love. I grew up in Liberty, South Carolina, a very small town, like two or three stoplights, the church pretty much on every corner. I had never seen a gay relationship in person. I had no one I could look up to, no one I could call and ask for advice. I did make a lot of errors along the way, so I'm singing this song from a standpoint of, I hope he does right by you because I couldn't. Ronnie, I think you're doing all the right things right now, so it's just gonna be pitch and you yeah. know breathing and all those things. I think Gene, you're such a great vocalist, so I'm not worried about you actually hitting notes. Like, I'm worried more about making people feel it. It's about loss, you know, yeah, and long running. Yeah, and it's right voice. now you sound very good, but you sound happy. Gotcha. Okay? A little, like, darkness in your voice. Gotcha. Okay? Mm -hmm. As someone who gigs all the time, it's kind of easy to not always be in the mode of really connecting with the lyric. It's just plug in and go. I did a national tour of Man of La Mancha. I hopped on some cruise ships. I was singing about six nights a week. That was one of the most challenging experiences. So what I have to do is basically push the technical stuff aside and really just bear the soul a bit more. Same bed, but it feels just a little bit bigger now. Yeah, it's already better. What excites me the most about working with John Legend is that he's incredibly honest. You always want to be teachable. He's a brilliant musician, and I just want to keep, keep learning. Hey, I think this is all going to come down to execution. If you do it the way you intend to do it and the way you're showing me you can, it's going to be beautiful. When the pressure is on, when the audience is there, when they're on national television, who's going to deliver? Dancing with another man. Who would you pick if 